Hello everyone, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. Tonight for dinner I'm making pork chops, Polynesian style pork chops. And these are the ones that I'm using. I have five pork chops here. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate them. It's now 11.30 a.m. and these are going to be for dinner tonight. Okay, so I'm going to marinate them with some barbecue sauce, a hickory smoked barbecue sauce. I'm going to use a complete seasoning. It can be from any brand. It doesn't have to be Badillas. And lemon pepper and garlic powder. I'm not going to put salt. I'm just going to marinate it with these ingredients. Okay. I'm also going to use this A1 uh, original sauce, steak sauce. Okay, so first I'm going to wash the pork chops. I'm just going to rinse them off. Really thin pork chops. Okay, five little thin pork chops. First we're going to add the barbecue sauce. Okay, a generous amount. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just adding as I go later. When I think if it needs more, I will add it. sorry about that the camera was off okay so I added a generous amount of barbecue sauce and now I'm adding the the seasoning remember all these ingredients have salt in them so that's why I'm not adding any salt I rather add salt later when the when we serve the food then add it now and then be too salty so it's better to marinate the the meat a while before so they absorb the flavor and like i said right it was 11 30 when i started so this is for dinner tonight we should be plenty of time for them to absorb all the flavors. Now we're gonna put the A1 steak sauce in. That's it for now. Uh, they're going to be marinating there for a few hours, and I'm going to I'm going to put them in the refrigerator, and I'll see you at dinner time. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm making island peas and rice and pork chops that I marinated this morning. So the first thing that we're going to need for the island peas rice. It's gonna be uh, coconut milk. You can buy any brand and it's coconut milk. We pour, I'm gonna use one cube of chicken, chicken flavor bouillon, which is uh, caldo con sabor a pollo. The, that's what we're gonna use. Add the raisin and we have here one fourth cup of raisins I'm gonna add that as well in there and the jerk seasoning jerk seasoning I'm gonna put one and a half a teaspoon one and a half teaspoon and this is the jerk seasoning okay, and then now we're gonna bring that to a boil Okay, and we're also going to add 3 fourths cup of water. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna cover it until until it starts to boil. I'm gonna cover it. It's already boiling, so I'm gonna add a cup and a half of rice. I already washed the rice, so in it goes. Stir it a little bit. And now we're gonna add some coloring to it. I'm also gonna lower the heat to medium. Lower the heat to medium. And we're gonna have we're gonna add this, it's called behold. It just it's a condiment to give it some color. And I would say maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. You put as much as you want. It depends on the color that you want it to get. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. Let it dissolve. Just a little bit more. Maybe a teaspoon. Okay, now we're just gonna let it rest. I mean, not rest. Now we're gonna let it just cook there. I'm gonna cover it up. There. And it's, the heat is halfway. I it, It's been cooking like for about three minutes, so now I'm gonna lower the heat even more. Okay, I lower the heat to medium low, and it's covered, cooking there covered, in medium low heat. Okay, in the meantime, while the rice is cooking, we're gonna start the pork chops, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of, of vegetable oil. That should be good. We're also gonna put some golden cooking wine, Vino seco, dry wine, cooking dry wine, pineapple preserve, pineapple chunk, and barbecue sauce. Okay, then the rice is almost ready. I'm just gonna let it continue cooking. Covered and low. Low. Okay, so let's turn on the heat for the for the pork chops. the biggest pan I have so I gotta make them fit. Pineapple marmalade or pineapple preserve. I usually put the orange preserve, but they didn't have it or I didn't find it. So I bought this pineapple. So I put like two tablespoons. And now we're gonna put the pineapple chunks. This recipe is my own creation. I tried it out many years ago and the kids loved it, so I decided to continue making it. I just hadn't made it in a long time. Put a little bit of this, or the little juice that comes in the pineapple, that the pineapple come in. And 
and a little bit of the dry wine. Just for this. Okay, I'm gonna add like about quarter cup of water. Okay. And I'm gonna put it in medium low. Get a little bit of water. Cover. And let's turn these babies. Okay, so these are the pork chops are ready. They're so thin that they cook right away. Okay, so we're ready to eat. So we got the pork chops and the rice with a little bit of sauce that we can pour over the rice if we like. Okay, and I, I hope you like this recipe. I hope you try it. It's delicious. And please like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Thank you. Goodbye.